Hey everyone, welcome back to The Road to Superman. This is episode 30, and today we finally can see David Corrinsweet's Superman in the flesh on set in Cleveland, Ohio. Not only that, but James Gunn is also there ready to direct the scenes they are going to film. It has taken almost four months for us to finally see a set photo of Superman, but today is the day. So let's not waste any more time and get right into the brand's new photo. Okay, so let's begin with how the day started. We got these small glimpses of David Corrin sweats with a black gown over the suit, and we were all desperate to see the costume, and fortunately, not too long after, we actually did. And so here is David Corrin sweats in the Superman suit. Now instantly, we can see that it is way brighter than the first photo we got. The colors really do pop a lot more, and it really surprised me at first glance. But so let's go through what I like and dislike. Firstly, what do I like? Well, I really like the colours. I think they are a much nicer shade of blue, red and gold than what we saw in the first photo, which was obviously taken at night, whereas here we can see it is during the day, so the colours look a lot better here. I also love the overall design and weirdly, the trunks really do work here. They break up the blue and the addition of the gold belt too just works. However, the way the suit fits David just doesn't look right to me. It looks too baggy and wrinkly, and I mean this with no disrespect, but when I first saw the photo, I thought it was someone in cosplay. Purely from the material, quality, and the way it fits him. So I'm really not a fan of the way the costume actually fits David. Although movies do tend to touch up costumes in posts, so I am hoping and slightly expecting them to remove the wrinkles and bagginess through CGI. And I think the reason why Gunn decided to go with a baggier suit for filming is to allow David to be more flexible in the suit, so he can film fight scenes without the restriction of a skin-tight suit, which many actors have complained about in the past. So this will make it practical for filming, but for me, it does need to be tighter in post. This is what Black Panther's suit looked like behind the scenes of Civil War, and this is what it looked like in the movie. A real difference between behind the scenes and the final product. Many productions create costumes that allow flexibility flexibility during filming for fight scenes or just for movement and then touch up the costumes in post to create a much nicer final look. And I think they will do that with Superman. We also got some other photos of Superman 2 where we can see the suit from different angles. And I really like this costume. We even have the S on the cape returning and the cape itself looks really nice as well. It's the right length and you can see that it fits him really well. And what we have to remember is that these are photos from phones. The picture quality, colour grading and choice of shots used will be far better in the movie. Gunn is using an IMAX approved camera for this film, so it's going to look as good as it can. So even if you're like me, where you're hesitant about the suit, don't worry because through the lens of the director, it will look much better. And I still think it looks great now, so make sure to let me know your thoughts on the suit in the comments below. Now, if Tyrone Magnus is watching this video like he was my previous episode, firstly, thanks for watching, but secondly, I'm sure you're not liking this suit at all and you've been shaking your head the whole time. I get why you and others aren't fans of this suit, and if it wasn't for my hope of this being improved in post, I probably would share more of your disappointment. I think the costume design peaked with Man of Steel, and anything other than that will naturally be a disappointment for many of us, but I'm gonna keep hoping that this suit will look better in post. Now, we can't ignore Mr. Terrific, who also appears appears in these photos. He looks like he's been pulled right out of a comic book. I think he really does look great, and I'm really excited to see what he does in this movie. And yesterday, it actually looked like Mr. Terrific's ship was landing in Metropolis, and obviously it looks really bad right now, but in post it will be improved upon. But going back to the costumes, it seems like Gunn is going for more comic accurate designs, which I feel can work in some circumstances and not in others. But here, it definitely definitely works. And we can also see that James Gunn is on the set too, and hopefully we get to see what they are filming soon. I imagine that after this video is released, we will get even more photos and videos from what they are actually filming, and when that happens, I will definitely make a video to keep you guys posted. Nicholas Holt has also been spotted on the Superman set, so we should prepare for him to appear in costume soon as well. The Daily Planet Globe has also been lit up, so it will be in some 
some of the shots coming our way soon. But the bottom line is, I'm really happy with the way Superman looks if it gets tweaked in post. Right now, unfortunately, it kind of looks like a cosplay or Halloween costume purely because of the way it fits him. The design is great, but just the fitting just doesn't work for me. What it reminds me of is one of those cheaper costumes you can buy at Walmart, which is just a copy of the real costume, if that makes sense. So it's the same design as the official suit, but just not the same quality, which is why it's cheaper. So I'm hoping they fix that in post. I'm sure Gunn will be able to make it look good through the camera, but I think it can easily be tweaked in post and taken to the next level. I'm sure this costume will be controversial, so I'm prepared for the comments, but I'm looking forward to having many conversations with you guys about it. But so now we have talked about Superman on set, let's talk about everyone that appeared before him. Starting with the army. It began last night with some army vehicles appearing, but today soldiers have arrived as well. Now this shows the severity of this scene. Not only are heroes involved, but also the military, and I'm interested to see how they interact with Superman. Will they see him as someone who can help them, or someone who gets in the way of what they want to do, or potentially do they not trust him? But also, what do we think this scene could be? Now, as soon as the other heroes were announced, I imagined the movie starting with a scene where the other heroes like Mr. Terrific, Green Lantern and Hawkgirl were fighting some villain in the city, but they were getting overpowered, and then Superman has to come in and save them all. And I wonder if that could potentially be what is happening here, or something close to that. Because I think that would be quite a good way of introducing the side heroes, but then pull the focus back to Superman, and then the heroes go their own ways. At least that's what I think could happen here. But let me know your theories in the comments below. Now, just as I am making this video, some more set photos have released of Superman talking to Mr. Terrific whilst being filmed. And I'm intrigued to see what they are talking about. And I'm also really excited to see what else we get as time goes by, and you will definitely be hearing all about it in the next episode. Now, the final update is that ex-Superman actor Brandon Ruth was a guest at Spotlight Panel at Ace Superhero Comic Con 2024, and was asked if he had any advice for the next actor to step into the role, David Corrinsweet. He said, I think the biggest thing for me about Superman is always recognizing the non-physical superpowers that he has. It can be cheesy to relate it to the teacher man to fish story, but quite literally, that is how I see it. And it's very appropriate to being the thing. If you save people all the time, everywhere, maybe they never learn to save themselves. That doesn't mean that you don't save them, but it just means that the teaching, the personality, the aspect, the human communication, the understanding Superman can give us of inclusion. To me, Superman is pure love. He doesn't judge, Ruth went on. He has to make some hard choices and stop people from doing bad things, but my goal for Superman is that he's the guy that everyone can be in their person. Maybe without all the flying and all the other stuff, but he's an example, the best of humanity, and he could teach us to do it, not just by his actions, but by calling out the truth. So he didn't exactly give specific advice to David about being Superman, but explained how he perceived Superman and how he thinks he should be displayed. He makes some good points, but make sure to let me know your thoughts on his comments in the comments below. But that is all for today's episode of The Road to Superman. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you never miss an episode. I hope to see you here again soon, so until then, have a great day. Bye!